Uber oh, driving, just, talking to yeah, us. Really? You know, yeah, absolutely. What you were know. they saying to you? <laughs> you know, it's some, some, some We can things, edit yeah. this stuff out later. Yeah, yeah. you know, so it was, it was a few <laughs> like, yeah, fuck y'all, y'all overrated. You know, uh, but it's all things, wow. you know, like they were calling guys' names out. I mean, they know us wow. now. Yeah, I mean, you're going you to get all that, you know, especially, you know, if people get that lick into their system. You know, everybody thinks they're a player. But, uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, they definitely want to throw everything at us. And uh, we just, you know, bounce back from that first drive. You know, do you ever do that? Do you ever talk to opponent players like that? Or do you feel like when you're on top of the mountain, yeah. then you get it coming back to yourself? Do you ever kind of find yourself <laughs> getting pro profane well, with guys like that? Uh, I kind of, like, match, you know, uh, whatever type of intensity you throw at me. But, uh you know, I might get teammates and might just, you know, might just have to take over the top one time. But uh, we definitely try to stay away from that. You know, we just try to play within ourselves. Sure. I saw you and Lindsey talking after the yeah. game, and you mentioned last week that you yeah. guys were kind of going at it at media day in July. Yeah. What's that What's that talk like after the game with him? I spent a lot of time with uh, those guys from media day. Um, you know, just him and Lindsey, just some of those guys are real competitors. You know, they've been talking from day one. Like, I can't wait to get back to play against y'all. Right. You know, y'all was the best team I played against. And uh, I remember in a championship game, me and Lindsey was going at it almost every, like every play because they were sitting me right the middle. So it was one-on-one -on -one the whole time. Uh, so me and Lindsey, you know, we kind of recapped that game and just, you know, said, like, when we come, you know, when we get back together, it's going to be a battle. Yeah. You know, he sure did. He, he brought it. He brought it. You know, he brought that mouth, too. Yeah. <laughs> Keyshawn, it felt like Azeem took a big step on yeah. Saturday, and he's maybe back to where he was before mm -hmm. the broken leg. What did you see from 36 yeah. out there? You know, I seen him out there making plays, yeah. you know, with that same type of intensity. But he, he for sure is back. You know, he's been back for a while now. You know, we just, you know, we just got to keep going, get into the flow. It's a long season, make sure we all grind it. Yeah. How do you think you've played so far? Maybe assess your play after four games. I've, I've been decent. Every week I've been playing more consistently better. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just getting back to the flow, live reps. Um, but uh, I know, like, every week, you know, I'm just trying to tighten up more and more up and field tackling and everything. Right. What kind of confidence have you seen grow from the secondary, all these young guys taking over for some legends that are now yeah. in the NFL, obviously, but Jordan with the two picks, yeah. <laughs> Miles with the pick six. Talk about the confidence level you see in that young group behind you. Yeah, I, I kind of see the same confidence I've been seeing, like, you know, all summer long. You know, uh, those guys work incredibly hard, and uh, it's only about time they went out there and showed it. You know, you test those guys, they're going to they're gonna answer the call. And uh, Coach Lake does a great job of getting them right. And, you know, they're all pretty, you know, pretty focused guys. So as long as they, you know, listen to their coaching and go out there and play, they're great athletes. They're going to make plays. Yep. Okay, Oregon State this Saturday. Yep. We got these guys last year, obviously, fairly easily in Husky Stadium. But yep. for the young guys here that think this will be a cakewalk in Corvallis yep. this Saturday, what's your message to them? There ain't no cakewalks in the Pac-12. Yep. You know, uh, so, you know, they definitely know that if they – we going into the house as a championship game, and we understand everybody's gonna try to throw their best at us, and we expect that. We expect them to, you know, run the ball. That's what they really want to do, and then try to make big plays. So it's on us, to, you know, understand what they're trying to do, and go out there and execute our game plan. How is Ryan Nall kind of different or maybe unique, the same from other running backs you've yeah. seen so far? Uh, he's more of a bigger, bruiser uh, type running back. You know, he makes a lot of plays, and uh, you know, he, he runs guys over. You know, and a defense like us, you know, we're looking at that smile on Okay, I like this. You know, it's different because, you know, it's a different type of running style with him and Philip Phil Lindsay. But you're going to get something different every week. You know, we understand we got bigger and better backs. You're going to see a great back every week in the Pac-12. Yep. And uh, great receivers at that, too. So, you know, you understand we got to just stick to our game plan and run our techniques. And just to wrap it up, speaking of backs, your backs, watching Miles Gaskin, watching the yeah. run game do what they did on Saturday, man. How, how gratifying is that for your defense to watch <laughs> them churn some time off the clock yeah. and give the defense a little blow? Yeah, um, and that was great. That was great. We even got some Miles, you know, he had a great game, career rushing. Um, but even some young guys like Kamari, you know, some guys got out there. Savon got his, another touchdown. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just great to see those guys go out there and play. You know, it's the same thing yeah. I've been expecting all year long from those guys. You know, they've been showing up in the locker room um, during practice, during camp, you know, and uh, just seeing them go out there and make plays is great. A lot of great stuff, man. Best of luck Saturday, pal. Right. Thank you. Keyshawn, Coach Lake said that uh, after the game that uh, you guys were kind of sensing that uh, the quarterback was a little confused and you guys deked him into the interception by Miles. What did you guys sense? <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, I was listening to Coach Lake coach up the DBs for a while. And, uh, you know, the DBs do a great job, even as young guys, like disguising coverages, showing different stuff. Um, the defense as a whole, we try to work on that, like run it, showing different things. And, uh, you know, Miles just took some coaching points and just went out there and applied them. As soon as possible. I remember, like, we came out at halftime or even before that, and I seen Miles Coach Lake talking about something during the half. I'm the timeout. I walked over and I'm listening to him. And he was like, "We got to disguise this, show this. He's gonna throw this right. You're gonna jump it." And that's exactly what happened. Like a few plays later, so you know, he just went out there and executed. I told him, I was telling Miles, like, "Bro, you don't have to worry about nothing. If anybody's ready for something, it's you." 
because the type of dude he is, you know, he's a playmaker. Other than that, he's a super intelligent and hardworking. How much satisfaction is there to confusing a quarterback? Yeah, it's a lot of satisfaction, especially when you come out and get a pick six from it. You know, so I was happy for him. You know, he went out there and made plays, but that's what I expect from him. You know, he's a great player. Colorado game. It looked like you and Azeem getting on the same page a little bit more. A little bit more of the tag team is uh, back in force. Are you yeah. sensing that? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I just see that since this defense is coming to its own. You know, we, st we still completely trying to find our identity, but we're getting into the groove. The more games we play, more battles we grow through. Man, we're really going to show up. Special teams again came yeah. up big. Coach Pete said you guys had the safe on, but uh, on the on the block punt, and he was looking at Dante yeah. and didn't even know that the punt was blocked. How much satisfaction? Because I know you like to play special yeah. teams. Yeah, I love special teams. But uh, to see more uh, defensive starters go out there and make plays like that, that's great. You know, I mean, that was a game changer right there. I know mean, we talked about that a lot. And uh, for Vita and Levi to go out there and sell out on a safe punt, I mean, that, that really questions what type of team we have, especially what type of defense we have, you know, because guys are not we're playing just for three downs. We're playing for four downs. You might call a safe punt, but we're still going to try to make something happen. It also looks like you guys are having a little bit more fun than you did earlier in the year. Is yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, you get into these Pac-12 games, you know, you understand their league game. So, you know, you might carry yourself with a more chip. But, uh, you know, it's, it all goes into our preparation. You know, we've been we've been working hard, you know, day in, day out. You know, uh, practice, lifting, everything. You know, guys are watching extra film, you know, spending pretty much all the time together as much as we can. So, uh, for a guy like me, older dude, you know, see guys go out there making plays, guys having fun, laughing around. I mean, that's what you really want to see. But uh, we understand we're going to make plays. We got to make sure we celebrate after, too. Also, Coach Pete said a lot of the guys were looking forward to yeah. classes starting. Are you one of those guys? And Absolutely. what's your first class? Absolutely. Uh, my first class is American Asian Studies class. Um, it's an upper division class, and it's going to be my second degree I'm getting this quarter.